everyone, this is Anne Othello, your host. Today I want to give you a little bit of the background of this very innovative YouTube channel where we are learning more on sustainable innovation methods. The most simple ways we can use to fight climate change. This channel is basically focused on three major aspects sustainable farming practices which are environmentally friendly sustainable farming practices sustainable energy efficiency and water conservation please don't forget to subscribe don't forget to like don't forget to share together we can make a difference thank you the main reason why this youtube was established was to help us understand the relationship between climate change and the environment, climate change and food security, climate change and farming, and how all our activities relating to climate change is actually positively and negatively impacting us. This channel was brought to you as viewers to inform, educate, and help you learn more on climate change, adaptation, and mitigation measures. In the real world, we have realized that most of people are suffering desperately because of floods, drought, and yet wetland, massive wetlands, and people have no ways on how to use these areas. When we have drought, that is a problem. Several years back, there used to be a situation whereby the drought season was just too short. When I was a little girl, we used to have drought in January. But as we speak now, the drought period has prolonged, especially within this region of Nyanza, that it is going from January to April, leading to the planting season being delayed. And yet, during those periods, several 20 years ago, people used to plant in February and then by May, the food was already on the table. As we speak now, currently, the food is getting ready in August. It has delayed the process. And the real rain season has become too short. When we see such kind of problems, then we have to find ways of coming up with mitigation measures. People have to change their plans of planting. The planting period is now not the normal January. The harvesting season is not the normal August. Now people, everything has changed, meaning we have to find a solution. And these solutions must be very good, sustainable ways of farming. When you are planting now, then you are going to use dry land crops, crops which can be able to be used or planted, which can be able to resist drought. Now they are called drought resistant crops. Early maturing crops. Early maturing crops are crops that their lifespan is too short and can still support the family. Because we have to learn how are we going to live. The world has changed and the new normal has become different. So what we have to do is to come up with different ways on how we are going to live in the same area, in the same venue, but with an adaptation measure. That is why we are trying to showcase some kind of mitigation measures. We are bringing in early maturing fruits, showing you examples of early maturing fruits which can be able to still supply the family with food. Meanwhile, it is protecting the soil. We are also going to show you in this channel different farming methods that you can use to help you control soil erosion. During the long dry spell, and the sun has hit the ground for a very long period of time. When it rains, we always have very heavy rainfall. And this heavy rainfall causes a lot of surface floods. And these surface floods take all the surface runoff to the lake, leading to siltation. When we look at all these cumulative problems that we are having because of either long dry season or too much rainfall within a very short time. When you have to mitigate these things, then you have to change the method of farming. Because you have to still get food from the ground. 
when you are farming now, there are different methods of farming. You have to do minimum tillage farming in that situation so that you don't lose the topsoil, rich soil that you need to help you produce food. So these are kind of issues we are trying to bring by visiting farmers and getting evidence-based results which can help us make informed decisions. Why we always need to talk about how can we tap into the long dry spell? That is the time you have the highest amount of solar energy. We can now tap on this energy to help us in irrigating our land. And we can tap on the solar energy, tap the energy, trap it and use it to light up our household. This is also going to help reduce indoor house pollution. And when we know how to harvest our surface runoff, instead of leaving this water to go to the lake, we are going to use the safe water, have surface pans, collect this water, and use this water in future. So these are the kind of mitigation measures that we need to start learning to help us together in mitigating climate change and having lasting solutions. These lasting solutions are going to increase household income so whenever we are meeting people we try to help them understand the relationship between high drought yes the drought is there what do we have to do and we have to live with it then you learn on how can we come with innovations so solar panels solar irrigation system we use the same water and then use it to irrigate our lands and produce food now it is bringing an opportunity for investors to invest on irrigation systems, solar irrigation systems, irrigation pipes, because an opportunity has been created. Yes, it is a problem, but let us use the situation, challenge ourselves to come up with positive mitigation measures. So that is the main background about this. Bringing up a problem, but we look at the positive side of that problem so that we can have a lasting solution for our population. Because without that, we are going to suffer. Right now, the areas that were flooded, you don't have to look at the flood. What is the positive side that you can use to that? A mitigation measure for that. Bring trees like bamboo here. Then plant in those areas. Don't look at bamboo as a tree. Look at it as income generating activity. It is going to help in siltation of those flooded regions. Plant high yielding crops. These are going to change our lives. If we go on this direction, believe me, climate change is going to be a solution, not a problem anymore. And this channel will be showcasing different innovations, cost effective, which are going to change our lives. Thank you so much for watching. Please, if there's anything you've learned in this episode, let us know and give us other information or new innovations that we can be able to tap from. Let's learn together and move on to help us fight climate change, increase household income while protecting our environment. Please don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to share. Together we can make a difference. Thank you so much.